What is up everybody, Danos Racing 35 here, brought to you by not really Gatorade, but Gatorade if you like my stuff, send me some free food, drink, whatever. Um, I'm here with my unboxing table, and my good buddy Doug, uh, he got some, what is this? this Explain is to me a, what it is. Uh, this is a Kickstarter that actually succeeded and showed results. Okay. Uh, this is a board game. I donated... I think like 75 bucks around 11, 12 months ago for this board game, and it's finally at my doorstep today. Uh, I'm guessing as of today, there's only a few hundred people who actually have this game. And know what's inside it. And know what's inside it, or even have heard of what it is. Um, so we figured for anybody who is a board game enthusiast... Person, um, and we're not talking simple board, we're talking like board games that are complicated. So apparently in the box is the game. Um, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Things over. Uh, this is... Unboxing over. This is, it's called Crosshairs. Uh, Here, turn it um, to the right a little. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's what I what made me give money to this was that it was a board game that had hard RPG elements. Um, it only can be done with four people. Um, I mean two to four, but it, it's not a huge thing. Uh, but the whole point is there's more than four characters to choose from. Each comes with their own unique abilities and even. Even then, you have to spend points that you earn through playing the game to unlock the abilities. And since they all have multiple abilities, you're not going to be able to unlock them all. So each game's going to be different, especially with the people you play play with. Uh, and as we move on further, um, this game's divided by environments, and each environment can have things happen, like. If you're in a lance, if you're in a like cliffy area, there can be a landslide, and it's all determined by how the dice are rolled. Uh, and you might cause a landslide, but you won't be in that area, so it won't matter. So the way you roll, where you are, it it all affects the gameplay. No two games are going to be the same. Um, from from what I read. This is the instruction booklet, which I will dive into <coughs> later. Um, more instructions. Yeah, so this this type of game isn't exactly my bag. Like, I'm more traditional Monopoly guy. Um, um, but, you know, I mean, it sounds pretty decent. Um, yeah, and it's apparently these are like toke... Looks like bags, targets, yeah, I think... See. I think the up top is the characters, and there's character tokens. Um, oh, if they, damn it. If they, I know for a fact that if they had gotten five thousand more dollars, that this would have come with uh, actual molded characters. Uh huh. Uh, that would have not just been generic bunny <coughs> pieces, but um, each character would have a full three D model. I will unwrap that last. Um, I know it. Th these are <coughs> um, beyond me. the whole landslides and events are adventure cards and also all dependent on the dice. So it's like there's, I think, seven or eight different adventures. And l let's see. Uh, like this one reads, regardless of how this adventure is started, it en ended with you and the twins in the pond together but the only good thing that has come of it is that they will be the reason you have a chance to get out they are slow swimmers slower swimmers than you um you were really close so i i i'm assuming there's some backstory in one of these right that you have to read if you roll on this right so in order for it to make sense for it to make sense and then this has some rules and conditions on the card you get two rolls with the challenge die and um 
And then it's got if you if you get it, you get an additional event card. If you if you fail the adventure, you do not roll five. You must go back ten spaces. So, um, some of them have negative consequences. I know they said some of the adventures have no negative consequences, and some of the adventures only have negative consequences. So, that'll that's something you may not even run into because that's not even a space. It's how how you roll the dice. We've got additional characters because I was a Kickstarter. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You'll have um, to forgive I'm, me. I have a cold. <laughs> I'm not going to open this yet because it looks like there's some finer pieces in here. Um, but it's here, more the same. This one I kind of want to open. I want to see what's in here. Want a knife? Yes, I do. I think these are the character cards. I don't want to... Thinking maybe if I... Want me to do it? No, no, I got it. It's my game. Also, of course, as with any board game, you have to actually have friends to be able to play it. If you don't have friends, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be your friend. But in order to play this, you got to be in my area. And I, the chances of that are low. <laughs> well, we are in a Keystone state, so you never know. Uh, uh, this is something that's cool. Um, the end of the game is also different. You don't just reach the end. Depending on how you roll to get there, it starts a scenario. Yeah, I'll let you hold that. Yeah. Uh, so then you have to dis like give in to that scenario and it will decide like i think one of them's like you stumble upon a nuclear reactor you have to roll this to deactivate it or not you start another apocalypse so that's that's kind of cool fun the these are the character cards e each one has their own unique uh characters this one looks like a bard title the piper yeah she was a bard uh and on the back it, it has a description of all the things that she can unlock and each character has different abilities so um like one of them's a medic one of them's a bard one of them has arrows one of them has a gun that's uh, cool so each character has their own personality um and the way you kind of want to give in to their personalities and that's how you can decide who you want to play. And it, if you have a person playing an aggressive character not so aggressively, it may not turn out so well for them. But at the same time, they might use the defensive options of that character versus the offensive options of that character and it'll completely change how the game is played. Um, just one more thing of diversity <coughs> within the game. Right. These, oh, it did come with molded figures. Uh, these look like just, they're just molded bunny pieces, I'm guessing. Have a look at that. It, I can get this thing to like focus. Like I said, if if we had Come on. gotten more money, I'm I'm guessing they would have been molded like the characters on the cards. Of course, it's not focusing. Oh, the perils of filming with an iPhone. But you get the picture. Yeah. Sorry, I can't focus. These must hold cards or something. They're I'm not going to bother closing in on them because it looks like they just hold cards or something. Right like that these i believe were in here yep um these are the dice it looks like a six-sided die and two event dice they're polyhedral not Poly really polyhedrons polyhedral is like 10 20 sided dice um yeah and i'm, I'm not gonna these are testing ground cards these are 
This one says, the happy whistling is coming from new advanced four spaces. So, Whoa. just the event card. And then, this one says, animal attack, clever girl, <laughs> Jurassic Park reference. All players take turns with this attack, defense four. Win, acquire one specialty marker, lose, lose next turn, and one card. So, so battle. Let's see the board now. Yes, that that's that. I was saving that for last because here the, you want the dice. I do. I don't want to lose anything. In fact, I'm gonna put everything back. Pretty much. It'll fit. Yeah. Just jam it all in there. I uh, no. Now with how long I've been waiting for this. I think those went first. These went first? I think so, because they're the biggest ones. No. Here, here, put the little ones, and then the big ones, and then the little ones. Little ones, big ones, little ones. Yeah. Because you know how two, a couple of those are bigger ones? Or bigger... There you go. I don't know. I don't know, friggin' no. I'm pretty Whatever. sure it was... It doesn't matter. We'll watch the video later. Yeah. There. Now they fit better for some reason. And I'll put these back. Huzzah. How, how did I have... What that... the hell? Am I the uh, you know what? I think that was on top of the board, maybe. Ah, you are correct. Most Yay. likely. It's like, what is the sorcery? <laughs> how did it get bigger? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, so... This is the game board. This was another big reason I put money into Holy this. Holy crap, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> and... Ta-da! Yep. It's upside down, yay. So as you can see, uh, this isn't a, a short game. Um, there's four starting zones. Um, and like with most games, I'm guessing just because this is further along the path doesn't mean it's going to give you better things. Uh, I'm seeing if I'm seeing pluses, like what looks like crosshairs and nuclear symbols. I'm for each one of those cards. We got different zones. It's looking like we've got, I can't read it sideways. But it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different zones. Uh, ten if you include the ending area. Uh, and yeah, like I said, you could be here, but someone back here could land on an event thing that triggers some catastrophe, some landmade thing to go wrong, a swarm of bees or something, and you could end up all the way over here, from what I understand. Uh, and the opposite can happen. This is... <coughs> I'm guessing this is the type of game that's going to last about an hour. Um, and with four people, it, I could see it lasting easily longer. Um... And with games like this, with how different each game could play out, um, if you have friends into board games and you play this just like once or twice a month, I feel like you're going to run into just lots of uh, lots of fun. Run into fun. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I'm very excited for this. I can't wait till to get to play it. Um, I know my mom's looking forward to it, so we're, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so if you're interested in this game, can you still get it, or did you have to? Um, I think you you can still get it, but I don't know how it's going to work. I would, I think they still have their Kickstarter page up. Okay. So just search for Crosshairs, and you okay. um, should find it. It's, look at the box, 
It was made by 1A Games. Okay. 1A Games. So, I'll find a link or something and put in the, the uh, okay. description. And that will uh, lead you to them. Uh, I know right now they they have a small stock, but um, the Kickstarter wasn't small, it wasn't big, so... Um, they've got a name for themselves, and they have experience making other board games, so I'm sure if you find their website, they uh, they will have a way of purchasing. Alright, so if you are interested in this, we, we will find something, or a link or something, and uh, it will be in the down there area. Um, if uh, you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, then thumbs down and tell us why. Say something, no, just, you know, thumbs down and leave one. Tell us why. Even if it was, like, my heavy breathing because I'm sick in the background, I don't care. Just tell us why. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!